Welcome! In front of me is an Emporia Smart 6 and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through settings. So, to get started you will want to open up your settings and in here scroll all the way down to System. Then at the bottom you'll find Reset Options and Erase All Data Factory Reset. This presents you with a page letting you know what will be removed by the factory reset. Now, out of this list, you can see there's a couple of things. Uh, the most important one will be things like music, photos, and user data. Now, if you keep anything in the device that you would like to well, have a backup copy, as all this that is listed right here will be completely deleted from your device, then make a backup of it to maybe your computer or cloud or whatever you want. I do recommend doing that to your computer as uploading data to someone else's computer, meaning the cloud, is just a bit sketchy and uh, sometimes it just limits you to the devices that you're going to be using. Uh, well, if you do it manually to your computer, obviously you can restore that data to any other device that you wish. Now, I don't have anything that I want to back up here, so I'm going to select Erase All Data, which is also what you're going to do if you have backed up your device and you want to progress further. Um, and in here, if you have some kind of screen lag, you will need to confirm it. If you don't have any screen lag, don't worry, this won't show up for you. Uh, instead, what you will see is this page. Uh, and obviously, once you confirm your screen lag, you also get this page. Uh, so here, we're gonna select Erase All Data, which is just a second and last confirmation. Uh, as you can see, all of your personal information and downloaded apps will be deleted. You cannot undo this action. So anyway, I'm gonna confirm it. And it's going to begin the factory resetting of the device. Uh, this process will take probably up to two minutes, maybe a little bit longer even, uh, to finish up. And once it's completed, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.